Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Randomizer where we're inside the Pokemon Mansion. Still trying to find our way around. Let's do a staircase. Ooh, treasure. All right, we're off to a good start already. Deep sea tooth. I have no idea what half these items do. Also takes forever to scroll through your items. Welcome to the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Randomizer where we complain about everything. An item to be held by a Pokemon, a fang that gleams a sharp silver, it raises a special attack stat. Oh, that's not bad. Um, everyone, everyone has something. I think out of sheer desperation. Aw, oh, Tentacruel. Actually, I do I have it? I might have a Tentacruel. I've completely lost track of whatever Pokemon might be in the box. I feel like we have a Tentacruel or like Tentacruel. But I also feel like if I did, I would use it. Mm, maybe there'd be like too much overlap with the Lord. Oh, there's nowhere to go. All right. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I think, I think we can just like fall off those, that platform there. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to beat Blaine with what we currently have without doing any extra grinding. We'll, s we'll see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I know. I think I did. I think I wanted the other side. Is what I'm willing to bet. Shoot, so I gotta get now I gotta get back up there. I have to figure out where I am. Alright, mistakes mistakes were made. How do we get out of here? I do. I wish I kind of knew the end of these games a little bit better. I feel like one of the downsides to using guides, because I used to use guides as for like their maps all the time. Like I usually tried to find my way around. As much as possible as far as like what destination to go to next but I it was completely unapologetic about using uh, maps but I feel like the downside to that is you don't really end up learning your way around areas that well like even the original Legend of Zelda which is a game I know pretty darn well like dungeon dungeons one and two I can I could probably do like freaking blindfolded um three through like seven I can oh we're, we're at the very freaking beginning no wait no we're not never mind So what were we supposed to do there? Um, but anyway, if you saw Zelda Dungeon 8, I'm like trying to figure out what, where I need to go here. Uh, so Dungeon 8, I don't know very well. I can still kind of muddle my way through it. Um, but Death Mountain always gets me. Okay. This place is like huge. All right. Servant Joe. Uh, Ren. 
And when it rains, you rain lightning. Wow. Uh, this should actually net us some decent experience. So yeah, the whole point of that rant is I feel like I would know some of these places a little bit better. Oh, Stardust. I think you just sell that. Nothing else here. Uh, if I, if I didn't use the maps all the time. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Never mind. I thought I had it. I thought I had it. I'm like, I think there's an area to fall off here as well. But I don't think I want that. Yeah, we might just, we might just start running because we're going to be in here for f Mewtwo. Is that the first Mewtwo we've seen? Lorenzo. Oh, special defense went up. N defense! I thought that was special defense. Um, Ice Beam? Mewtwo was frozen solid. Perfect. Um, Ice Beam it again. Mewtwo defrosted itself. <laughs> Holy crap, so there's wild freaking Mewtwo's running around here. That's crazy. Man, I don't want to like run from battles because I think that's like part of the like the battle of attrition. But one, we have escape ropes. And as far as I know, I don't I don't think there's like a rule against that. I could like audible one in, but I don't think that'd be it. I don't think it would really matter. What's a pitchy? Um Alistair, you haven't gotten to do I don't think you've seen action in like three episodes. So you're freaking killing me. There we go. That was that was not worth the trouble. Mm. I also I kind of want to use this to level up as well. seems like a good alternative to just like grinding. And like the encounter rate is just like way too high. I need to undo that. Do I have any repels? Are rep uh, uh, what is repel fall in the rules? Might have to take Vivi out, throw Lorenzo in the front. I think we got crit. Oh no, it's super, super effective, really? Uh, is that because of ice? I'm 
I'm probably like dancing all around that stupid exit too. Uh, Lorenzo. Super potion, not good enough. I think we have like really good potions somewhere down here. Ooh. Oh, it restores up to 200 points. All right, that was actually kind of a waste. Ah, oh, Persian. Uh, body slam. I think can paralyze it or kill it in one hit. Also good. Man, I feel like it's hard to want to be in these areas because it's not as much fun. What, I, what I'm having the most fun with is going around and seeing like the random Pokemon, which at this point we've seen pretty much everything we're going to see in here. And then, eh. Oh, get wrecked. You know, seeing the random Pokemon, like what's going to show up in each area and then you know, catching a new Pokemon. Like once we've caught a Pokemon in an area, I'm not all that interested in it anymore. Ooh, lava cookie. Wait. Bring run back in. I think that's hard when it's like this uh, this for me is not where the fun is um I'm gonna try not to suck the fun out of it for everyone who might uh maybe enjoys this part maybe enjoys like running around dungeons and finding their way around uh so which way did I fall through yeah okay so this is different Yeah, so I just fell down the wrong side, which, uh, ooh, an Ultra Ball, nice. Ooh, high level stuff. Ah, oh, Ren. It doesn't matter because it's freaking protected. So now not only are we confused, but we have to actually hope that we... No, we went first. Never mind. Problem solved. Uh, what? <laughs> ah! Beedrill! Almost enough to make me want to level up Winston. Almost. I'm curious to see what type uh, of gym uh, plane is going to be. Ah, oh, Hitmonlee! Yeah, I think for me, like my, uh, like my favorite part of Pokemon is catching a Pokemon. That's kind of the, the hard thing about doing a Nuzlocke is that I don't get to catch things. I get to look at all the things that I'm not allowed to catch. Oh, do I need to hit, I probably needed to hit a statue somewhere else. Um, so that's hard. So I can't remember. I don't think I've asked this before. Um, for anyone who's played Pokemon before, what... What to you is is the fun? Is it the uh, the post game? Is it uh, getting together with people and like you know battling other real people? 
Are you like me and you just like to catch things? Okay, that doesn't help. Yeah, I think I need to hit a switch, but I don't know... Where would I be able to do that? I might just have to have to leave and uh, do it all over. If, if I do end up leaving this place, please tell me it's not act Oh no, there's a switch. Okay. I'm going to say they can't be that dumb. I, I would probably just BRB or we'll, we'll make that the next episode. Well, at least it only hit twice. Man, I used to wonder, like, man, why does everyone like Lapras? Like, you already have a bunch of water Pokemon by then. I just ended up using them. Lapras is freaking powerful. Yeah, that's our uh, that's our question today. If you are a Pokemon fan, what what part? And even if you're not, what uh, what part of Pokemon appeals to you? I feel like that's such a hard thing when it comes to game design. Is you want these just different systems in place so you can try to appeal to a lot of different people. But then you definitely have the, have the problem where you can run into where your game does a lot of different things, but it doesn't do any one of them particularly well. Or, you know, maybe players feel like they're... Ah. You know, stuck spending too much time doing away from the things that they think are fun. I think that's like an interesting thing in game design that you have to try to, to work around. But do do I have one of you now. Ooh. Also, isn't Moltres in here? Hyper potions. We're gonna save those. And maybe use one on Lorenzo. Something tells me I need to hit the switch. I'm just gonna just gonna do it. Watch, it was, there. it was just there to trick me. The rain continues to fall. Like, one of the reasons I really liked uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Snatch? I don't know what that ability does. Was because those games focused on catching, which is my favorite part of Pokemon. So to me, like, that was perfect. But at the same time, you know, there are, they did take things out of there that I'm sure other people loved. And that's why they ended up not liking the game, which I think is fair. Seals the effects of the foe's healing or status changing moves. Oh, that's kind of neat. There we go. Secret key. Moltres down here. If nothing else, we have to see. We have to see what it is. If we survive the legendary magic carp. We should be fine here. No. Moltres. Uh, oh, Thunder. Nice. 
Zapdos! I would have really liked to have gotten like one of the legendary Pokemon. I think we've run into them all at this point. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm trying to come up with plans on the go because I don't want to keep like dragging this out. This place is really long. Oh wait, no, I don't have to go back through the whole thing. Never mind. Completely ignore me. Ah, another Zapdos. <laughs> Where were you earlier when I was catching whatever it was I caught in here that I don't even care about anymore? Why don't we even catch here? I do- I think it was- it was something kind of cool that I was- I was excited about. Oh! Man, there were so many cool things in here. This is killing me inside. The thing I hate about a move like Pursuit is that as a player, it's not a particularly useful move. Like, I could only see it when you're playing as another human opponent and I can never see a situation where there's not you're not going to have a better move than Pursuit. Uh, oh, I take that back. I take that back. I could see if you're about to like finish off someone's Pokemon and they're like trying to swap it out, you could then that way you could kind of finish it off, I guess. Um, but even if they're going to swap it out, they're going to lose a turn and you're going to have a free, basically a free attack. So I'm... I, Situationally, I'm sure there's someone out there who probably knows a little bit more than me or a lot more than me about uh, competitive Pokemon. They'll be like, well, actually, you could use it in this case and it'd be the best move. It's like, but realistically, it seems really situational and playing through the story, I have a hard time coming up with too many uh, situations where it'd be useful. Oh, we're almost out of ice beams. I, what would I even send out against Zapdos if uh, not Lorenzo? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is an exit. Uh, so I was hoping for one more like Zapdos for the road. Doesn't protect become like less effective the more turns you use it or something like that. Oh, paralyzed. Get wrecked. I may be thinking of a different move. Right? Yeah, we made it out. Okay. So that's where we're going to leave this episode. And the next one will go for badge number seven. Uh... So that's going to do it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.